I'll do one sample hair on my client's head just to show them how well fused it is. They'll be able to test the strength of it. They'll be able to see how seamless it is. And then they'll be able to make the decision and say, okay, go ahead. Because in truth and fact, this is permanent. You won't have to wait to have these mature looking locks. Or pull it all the way through. So you see, it takes the hair with it. See? For that while I roll it. So I roll, pull. Halfway through, roll, pull. Halfway through, roll, pull. You sit a shorter time in the chair because all the work is already done. Let me know what questions or concerns you would have if you were to go ahead and do this. You know I got it locked, so please subscribe and turn your notification on. So welcome to Dominion Locks, where I got you locked. And this is my first video on this channel. So comment below and welcome me up in here. Uh, my services are available in Toronto, Canada. But the point of this video today is really to introduce something to you and to show you how I create crochet dreadlocks that I then add to my client's hair you know, sometimes for repair or sometimes for a full head of hair or whatever the case may be. So uh, I will do an introductory video at a later date, but uh, this was actually something that I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, how do you do it, you know, stuff like that. So I'll go through the whole process of how I create these beautiful locks. I use page for background purposes uh, i create different sizes at times sometimes i'll create them flat you know dreadlocks are not supposed to be uniform really they're supposed to be you know natural so if you buy the the ready done ones i don't know if they're done by machine they usually say handmade but for me you won't have to wonder if it's handmade you'll see for yourself that it is and uh, you'll be able to see how I do it I won't be able to show you right now how I attach it but the next time that I do get a client I will be showing you how I attach these babies because this is new this is a new channel I haven't been recording my work up until now not really and I've just started doing, uh, you know, focusing on this hobby of, it's really a hobby of mine. It's a hobby, but I earn money from doing it. But it's definitely a hobby because I have another job, which is my career. And so since COVID-19 started, I've started focusing on doing this more often. It's a hobby just like somebody who likes to sew or somebody who likes to knit or draw or whatever, you know, I enjoy doing this as a hobby and also for the extra income that it gives, okay? So, as you can see, I have my tools over here that I use for my clients whenever they come or whenever I travel to go do their hair. So, how I create these dreadlocks is with afro kinky bulk hair these i order on different websites the cheapest that i've found them is on aliexpress and aliexpress it's like uh this all you know bulk stuff you can go on there you can search for a vendor you can purchase these in bulk or if you can you can purchase single if you wanted i haven't purchased bulk in a while like a lot but uh, I have these left over. I am creating these for a potential client that I've spoken to. So I don't know if they'll go through with it. And another thing to note is whenever this is what the hair, the bulk hair looks like. So it's Afro kinky human hair. You can color it. You can do everything you, you want to do with it just like you would with your own natural hair or dreadlocks. So for instance, these dreadlocks. You can actually color them if you want. You can bleach them. You can color them. So this is a bulk hair. And this is what I'm going to use to make one of these. And I'll show you how. 
but yeah back to what i was saying so for my clients say for instance the client decide to go ahead and get this done what i would normally do is i'll do one sample hair on my client's head just to show them how well fused it is they'll be able to test the strength of it they'll be able to see how seamless it is and then they'll be able to make the decision and say okay go ahead because in truth and fact this is permanent this is not something that you're gonna get out unless you put a whole lot of effort into it so you want to be sure that they're satisfied with it before you actually go ahead and do it so I always do one sample dreadlock at the front just to show what it's going to be like. And then once I'm done doing that, I go ahead and do the, oh, the whole entire head if they're satisfied with what the sample looks like. Now, this is recommended for persons with short hair. They don't have any hair, so they don't have hair on their head to do this. Because if you have hair already on your head... I will do this on your head. What I'm going to show you now, I will do it on your head using your own hair. So you don't need this extension. But if you're somebody who has shorter hair, you don't want to wait to grow your, your dreadlocks, then this option is for you because you won't have to wait to have these mature looking locks. And it is a seamless application. It's uh, convenient you know it takes a lot of stress out of going through the whole baby locks process that a lot of people go through so here goes separate the hair i take an amount that i want and this i can add a little bit more to this one i judge the hair to see how thick i want it there's no back combing required or anything like that. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So now I start interlocking. I will show you exactly what I'm doing here. So... See, starting to form a lock. So it is starting to form a lock, as you can see. I should. Okay, so I got some light. So as you can see, it is starting to form a lock right there where I started it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. So this crochet hook has three tips, three crochet tips on and on there. The, I have others. I have the double one as well. It's a slightly larger uh, size than this one. And I also have the single one, but I like to use the triple one because I go much faster I finish faster than if I was to use one of the the single ones or whatever now I'm gonna just show you real quickly what I'm doing with the needle so each time I put the needle in I pull it back through halfway or pull it all the way through so you see it takes the hair with it see and then once I pull it through I usually do this with the top of my fingers to get it. Okay, so pretty much I do that the whole way where I pull through, I push over, I use my hand to pull it across, under, and do it and I repeat the process but I do it really fast so you don't really see it now towards the end once I've uh, reached to the point where it's getting tighter I start pulling not all the way through but I start pulling halfway into the lock so I start doing this 
in the while I roll so I don't let it come all the way through because you're trying to make it neat you're trying to get all the stray so I do all of that while I roll it so I roll pull halfway through roll pull halfway through roll pull halfway through roll pull and there you go it's a very smooth finish to the lock all right, so I'm going to finish up this one. I usually leave this part so I can fuse it into the client's hair. However long the hair is or whatever, I usually leave that so I can fuse it into their hair. Now you can choose to use any color hair that you want. But I would recommend using a color hair that matches with your color hair. Now this texture here can be used... On pretty much almost any texture of uh, African hair because dreadlocks at the end of the day is going to look matted so it doesn't have to be perfect you have to be careful with the needle guys because it sometimes will uh, it is harder to do this without having a support if this is supported like uh supported somewhere firmly like if this is already on a client's hair it's so much easier for me to finish it but when it's just in my hand and it's not attached to anything there's no traction to help me so i have to i have a harder time creating these if they're not on somebody's head already so if you have hair on your head already and you want to get dreadlocks I can do this with your hair to form those dreadlocks. It's much easier when you already have it on your head growing out of your scalp rather than me, you know, crocheting something free form in my hand that's moving all over the place. So this is pretty much mature locks in an instant. You don't have to wait for your locks to mature. These babies will be mature in no time. Well, they're instantly matured locks that you're getting. I usually don't purchase the hair for my clients because I prefer not to have the issue of shipping delays, you know, being brought back on me. Uh, especially now with COVID-19 going on, I'd rather not. So I usually tell my clients, you know, go get the hair. You can get it at a lot of beauty supply stores. Just purchase your own hair, bring it. And I'll do it. However, for lock repairs, I usually produce the hair myself because I always have uh, extra hair that I can use. Okay. So guys, you don't have to take my word for it when I tell you that I'm going to give you instant dreadlocks. You can see for yourself that I can actually give you instant dreadlocks. So, I'm not going to make a promise that I can't keep. If I say that I can give you instant dreadlocks, I can give you instant dreadlocks, okay? I move much faster when I'm doing it on somebody's head rather than when I'm sitting here with a freeform lock in my hand. You, at these size... At this size, you'll probably need about a hundred locks, maybe a hundred locks. At this size, you'll probably need a hundred locks. If you're doing bigger locks, then you will need maybe... 60 it depends it all depends on the size locks that you're getting but this client they told me they'll probably be needing these sizes so i'm doing these sizes and these are regular sizes these are like just medium between medium and small because some of them are smaller than some so like i said um it's not uniformed sizes like you would see in the prefabricated dreadlocks that you would buy online it's not like that and this is something i can do in my free time while i'm watching tv 
or whatever the case may be I just do it while I'm doing all the other stuff and so when it's time to put it on my clients hair they spend less time sitting down in my chair rather than because if you already have hair on your head you're gonna have to sit there the whole time while I interlock your while I crochet your your hair into dreadlocks but if you're doing extensions instant uh, lock extensions like this then the benefit of this is that you sit a shorter time in the chair because all the work is already done yeah all right guys so here you go So here you go, one perfect dreadlocks done, ready to be attached to the client's head. And I will post a video at some point once I have a client who is willing to allow me to do the recording while I'm doing their hair. So eventually I will show you guys how I attach them, the method that I use to attach them and how strong they really are once they're attached i will update you guys on all that if you guys have any questions let me know i'll be more than willing to answer any questions you guys have give you any additional information you might need to help you decide on taking this step on your lock journey just let me know i'm more than willing to help you with whatever information i can help you with also you can use this uh, for dreadlock extension so if you already have dreadlocks I can do this to add to your dreadlocks to give you more length if you want more length on your dreadlocks and you don't want to wait for it to grow so this is an option that you can use for extending those dreadlocks making them longer if you already have dreadlocks and you don't have to worry about them coming loose I can assure you they are secure they are properly done so you won't have any issues where that's concerned and if you happen to have an issue where any of that is concerned where one might come start thinning out or anything like that that happens to normal dreadlocks I can do repairs this is the main reason I have these bulk here is for repairs so I do a lot of repairs on my clients when they have broken locks or they have locks that are thinning in the shaft but no I can't do anything about thinning hair where your scalp is concerned only the lock itself I can actually repair and make you know more thicker and healthier looking yep <coughs> So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these babies right here. Let me know if you think you would actually be interested in attaching these to your head. If you had the option to do so. Let me know what questions or concerns you would have if you were to go ahead and do this. You know, what are some of the questions that would be on your mind? I just need those, uh, you know, questions so I can actually help, you know, set better expectation for clients when they ask me about doing this. So let me know, guys. Comment below. Don't be shy. So remember, this is Dominion Locks where I've got your hair locked.